Oh my, Disney, Disney, Disney. What is wrong with you? Now, don't worry guys, this won't be a long one because let's face it, there isn't much to say other than more of the same. What? More of the same stuff coming your way, courtesy of a corporation that has yeah. shit on you for years. Damn it, he's right. More sequels, more reboots, more prequels, and yes, more remakes. D23, Disney's personal vanity project that they wheel out to make announcements for things that I fully believe they actually think changes the world every single time they release something. Let's take a little look at some of the things that are coming this year. On the movie front, we have more Avatar. Are you sure? More Toy Story. Awful. Just awful. More Incredibles. And everyone is dead from AIDS. More Zootopia, more Frozen, more Mandalorian, a live action Lilo and Stitch, and a movie version of Monster Jam. Does that count as original? Who knows, and who cares? On the Disney Plus front, it's even better. We have more Star Wars in the form of Anna Series 2 and Skeleton Crew. More Marvel with Daredevil and the long awaited. No. Ironheart. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. Fuck! Oh, and some David Blaine shit is going to be on there too. Uh, yay, I, I guess. Okay. You know, when you get it wrong, you really get it wrong. So you're probably thinking, is there any point to my moaning right now? No, there is not. Actually, yes. The point is, they have not learnt their lessons. Yes, some things are left over from what is accurately dubbed the woke era. <sighs> can't wait for someone to say, I can't take you seriously when you say that. Well, I can't take anyone seriously that doesn't utilize their vocabulary, so there. They haven't learned their lessons is probably not precise enough. It's more that they have learned the wrong lessons. Check this out, for example. Disney to spend five billion in Europe on making new blockbusters. What an idiot. This is in wake of the massive financial success that Deadpool and Wolverine has brought, but they haven't realized why this film was successful. Is it the most intellectually stimulating? No. Is it full of plot holes? Yes. But regardless, this didn't matter because it acted as pure escapism while, at the same time, respecting the source material. A comic accurate Wolverine after 24 years was only the tip of the iceberg. Cameos, of course, are not everyone's cup of tea, I understand that, but the cameos that existed were all comic accurate and all pay homage for what came before. Paying homage is something Marvel Studios has repeatedly failed to do. Let's go back to that lineup from this year. Where in this list does it give people what they are actually asking for? So on the Marvel front we have Daredevil, which, I'll be honest, I saw the leaked trailer, seemed decent. However, they have needlessly given Daredevil a lot of baggage to carry in the form of a She-Hulk appearance and a diminished kingpin for both Hawkeye and Echo. So even if the show is good, it's got ground to make up already. Whereas Ironheart... That's nasty. They already know this is going to be a disaster. They know that. That's why there's a massive delay on it. Why they couldn't just take the Warner Discovery approach and just nuke the thing when they know it's so bad? This is hubris of the highest level, and YouTubers are going to enjoy making so much money off this thing. Because let's face it, they are the only ones who will. Who, in the name of Zeus's butthole, thought Skeleton Crew was a good idea? Oh wait, who am I kidding? We know. Bitch. A Mandalorian and Grogu film is something that only open mouth shills online care for, and that's because most of them get paid to see it. The only small sliver of hope for some people, not me, is Andor Series 2. I know people who enjoyed it. I didn't. I thought it was total wank. But nevertheless, it has its audience. And let's not even mention Agatha outside of me just mentioning it now. Because fuck me, this looks bad. This looks very bad. Time to finish the road. Last one there is a nice person. My mother kiss twitted my fucking tipples! But YouTubers are here for it. Again, the only people who will profit from it. So we have potentially one Marvel show and a Star Wars show that may interest people. No films, no films whatsoever on this list will make money. They won't. Deadpool and Wolverine is giving Disney executives false hope. It's so ridiculous. Hence learning the wrong lessons. 
There are some independent film adaptations coming from Disney as well, like The Amateur, which is based on the book of the same name, but that itself is technically a remake, as there has already been a movie version. So my big takeaway from this is thus. Disney lose money, YouTubers aren't getting money, and the only people who lose at the end of the day are the customers, are the fans, are the people who just go to enjoy something. Anyway, thank you for watching and do take care.